Hello, everyone. Welcome to Classic Champion Thoroughbreds. This Saturday, the road to the 2024 Kentucky Derby takes us to Oak Lawn Park, where a field of 13 horses have been entered in the 64th running of the Rebel Stakes. Trainer Brad Cox's Timberlake, a bay colt by Into Mischief out of the Looking at Lucky Mare, Pinup, has been tabbed a 6 to 5 morning line favorite. Post time for the race is 6.23 p.m. Eastern Time. My name is Calvin Carter, and I am the owner of Classic Champion Thoroughbreds, LLC, where I work as a bloodstock consultant. In addition to my bloodstock work, I also blog about the two- and three-year-olds on the Triple Crown Trail. Classic Champion Thoroughbreds is a unique company with over 144 yearlings profiled at auction that have won or placed in greatest stakes for stakes races, both nationally and internationally. So if you're looking to buy yearlings at auction that can be competitive in stakes races, you can contact me through my website or message me on Twitter at Calvin L. Carter. Now let's take a look at the Rebel Stakes. Here you see the classic champion throw the profile of the horses entering the race. The top four in breeding are Common Defense, Tejon Pass, Just Steel, and Mena. Now shortly after we created this profile here, we saw that some of these horses down here were stepping up with the lower grades were stepping up winning races. And so we created the behavior index. And that helps us to move horses up or down in ranking. And as you can see here, all the horses have been moved up pretty much. Over here, you take a look at the Brisnet Prime Power. Top four they have are Timberlake, Carbone, Just Steel, and Time for Truth. A Timberlake is making his debut as a three-year-old. He finished fourth in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. And uh, he's been working out good, but uh, so he's a question mark to me. And Carbone and Just Steel, last time out in the Southwest Stakes, they were in the top four in the Brisnet Prime Power. And uh, Just Steel finished second, and Carbone finished seventh. Now, whether Carbone didn't like the sloppy track, I don't know. But I feel like he could be a false favorite here in the top four. Same thing for Time for Truth. He's uh, first time out for a route race. He's been running in sprint races, so I don't know if he can step up and uh, get the job done or not. Like I said, Timberlake, he's a question mark to me. He could potentially win the race, but he's going to have to step up pretty big from his last effort in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile last time. Now, when I look at this uh, profile ranking here and the behavior index ranking here, I come up with my final analysis over here. And I like Common Defense last time out. And uh, that was just his second start of the season. And he finished a respectable fifth. So I think he has room to improve in his third start, lifetime start. And Tejon Pass is an interesting colt. Uh, as you can see here, he has the breeding. But the question is, can he step up? and get the job done so but i've kept him here in the top four and i've added a dimatic as you can see here he's right on the bubble but uh he's ran three races and he's improved in every race so i think he has room to take another step forward and just steal like i said here i believe he's a legitimate horse here in the top four don't really like Carbone in Time for Truth. And Timberlake is the question mark. But this is how I see it could potentially unfold. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like more information about the success I've had picking yearlings at auction, you can message me on Twitter at Calvin O'Carter or contact me through my website. Thank you for watching the video and good luck with your wagers.